And there's the slant as he gets it into the arms of Cooper. 11 yards, his first catch as a Cowboy. Well, this is what they're going to do. They want to get the run pass option going and then the slant. That's what we talked about. Watch him go in there. We talk about lateral quickness at the line of scrimmage. What teams have been doing against these Cowboys is they've been pressing them man to man up in their face. Nice. Of course, the new kid in town is at the bottom of your screen, Amari Cooper. He's going to him, but he throws beyond Cooper. He was covered by Malcolm Butler. And look, here, here's what this Dallas Cowboys offense has to do. Single high coverage, one-on-one -on -one press outside. You see Malcolm Butler, he just presses, and then they bail. And there's no separation in those points. So you and that's what they're going to do here on second and goal. He looks back to Cooper. Can he get in? Diving for it. His first touch. We talked about him being the single receiver and the problems he can create. Watch him there, getting on the outside, faking the slant, press coverage, and allowing him to win. When you run routes like that, a little escape, fake the slant and come back out, all you're really trying to do there is saying, I believe my guy, Amari Cooper, is better than yours, the defender, and he's going to win because there's nowhere else to go. To we saw that touchdown by Amari Cooper, but the thing about it was he's a single receiver. It's a nice route. He's going to sell the little, quick little slant. He gets jammed a little bit, but getting out of the route. The transition is a great sign when you're evaluating wide receivers. But watch Dak Prescott's eyes. He holds the safety, and immediately he says, I'm going to trust you. He had three receivers on the other side. He's not even looking at them. So that's a good sign early on that he believes in this guy. And that situation in the red zone says, hey, I know you're... It's like a Y formation. Olawale, the fullback, will go to the passing game off of it, lofting it, and that is intercepted by Byard. The guy who led the NFL in interceptions a year ago comes up huge for Mike Vrabel's defense. Well, they were sending Amari Cooper in motion, and they're really just putting him on that win route, essentially. In that situation, Dak Prescott was leaning on it a little too much, thinking that his guy could win. Give the Titans some credit. The big inter Second and ten, and they go underneath once again and have success. This time it's Cooper as he drives inside the 25, and the Dallas fans have already picked up on the coup. But watch again, that's a, just a little bit of a skinny glance. Two steps deeper than a with uh, Des Bryant. Third down and six now. Prescott gets it complete for a first down to Cooper. Flag is down, we'll check on that. That's at the 35-yard line. Pass interference, offense, number 89. The 10-yard penalty, replay third down. That's Blake Jarwin, the tight end. Yeah, Jarwin's really trying to brace in these situations. Cowboys, lowest in the NFL, prior to Amari Cooper, 2.2 yards. Amari? Talked about he hasn't produced out there in Oakland, but when you watch him on tape, fifth highest with getting separation. And the way you do that is at the line of scrimmage. First thing is, you got to be able to have lateral quickness to threaten the corner. Cooper in for a reason. And it's time for this offense to get going. Yeah, tonight, you know, he's only got three catches, but you see what he does, the separation, the explosion that he has. He's a playmaker down in the red zone. He's making a difference, scoring points. They just haven't gone to him enough. He's got five targets. I know he doesn't have the entire playbook down, but give up the first rounder. So we're putting on that problem, my friend. <laughs> oh, a lot. And here it Prescott, is. Amari. Play action. You want that ball driven downfield. He looks to the outside to Amari Cooper, and a flag is down here at the 40. But, you know, you talk about those situations of third down, Holding, offense, number 52, 10-yard penalty, replay first down. When you're in those situations, you lift yeah. up an eye on him. Second and seven to the outside and complete to Cooper. And, and, and that's where I thought he would be used more, right? Just throw more down and distance inside the pocket, running a comeback, pressing it vertical, look at him, give his eyes. Nice transition out of cut. This guy's a player now. I mean, 2,000-yard seasons. 
who's refined as a route runner. I think Scott Linehan has to get comfortable in making those calls on first and second down because now he has that. Here, fourth and ten, so much on the line for the Cowboys in their season. Prescott spinning around. Got to get rid of it. Launches it. And it's out of the back of the end zone. Jarrell Casey was tracking Prescott, and that does that on the desperation drive. So the red zone possessions for the Cowboys tonight and leaving points on the field. The missed field goal, the turnover, and now this loss and downs. Well, they went two tight ends, just try to use their size with Rico Gathers and Blake Jarwin in the end zone. That just didn't have any time. Entire time. Mariota being a franchise quarterback that can lead his team, especially from the pocket. Yeah, you got to give him credit in that situation.